Tourism Minister Alan Chastney will leave the island for 10 days on Wednesday. A report from a team investigating security at hotels and tourist attractions is expected to be completed in time for his return. The investigating team includes one person from the Ministry of Tourism, ACP Territorial Policing, Andre Cox, and one representative from the SLHTA. Shastney assembled the team after visitors and tour guides were robbed at the Ansley Waterfall last week. The report will first tell us what the status is, and then we'll then have individual meetings with um, the attractions. So that's one aspect of it. The second thing is, is working with the police stations in the area. Already now there's been a reach out uh, by the police stations with some of the attractions in the area. So the tourism minister has threatened to shut down any of the places under investigation if they fail to provide adequate security to patrons. Over 70% of respondents of a recent HTSE poll agreed with that stance. Shastney has also called on communities where attractions are located to step up their level of protection. It follows a suggestion from ACP crime Vernon Francois, who suggested these places should foster a closer relationship with local police. Shastney says communities like Ancillary need to protect their tourism dollars. I mean, the community of Ancillary has benefited tremendously from tourism. Okay, when you go and you see the fish fry on Friday, how many people have built homes and the, the, the improvement in the quality of life in Ansaray has come because of just one night. All of a sudden now you're seeing tourism grow where people are coming on day trips on the daytime. Okay? What Ansaray doesn't want to do is allow that now aspect of it to affect the, the nighttime because they've done a very good time, very good job of keeping people safe in the Friday night event. And they've now got to broaden that to include the attractions in the area. The ministries of tourism, internal security and justice are also working towards better prosecution of people convicted of crimes against visitors. There is also the issue of what is and is not admissible in court. For example, evidence collected by CCTV cameras cannot currently be submitted as evidence. Those issues remain outstanding all the time. And I know that uh, the, the Attorney General's office the Minister of Security, and I certainly know I'm pushing, and the Chamber's pushing, a lot of people are pushing to get certain things changed here so it makes per prosecution a bit swifter um, uh, and that, that we can do it with a greater level of assurity. So CCT cameras, but it has to be passed that, that that film now is admissible as evidence. Okay, Getting better quality CCT cameras. And even when you look at the road network, is having CCT cameras around like what's in England. Concessions exist that allows hoteliers to import duty-free any equipment that will be used for the provision of security. As to the cost of businesses already strapped for cash, the tourism minister says it is not a question of if they can afford the investment, it is if they can afford not to. Carmi Joseph, HTS News, Channel 4.